This video we will talk about standardization. Standardization means to find out the molarity of a solution with unknown molarity. So we can do this by titrating it with a standard solution. For example, right here we got two bottles of glass cleaner. You all know that glass cleaner they contain ammonia in it. So which one should have a higher concentration of ammonia? Then it seems to be much more worthy okay, to buy in that. So we will try to put this glass cleaner into the conical flask separately. So if we have NH3 right there, maybe you can use a standard solution of hydrochloric acid to titrate it. If for A, we need to have like 10 cm cube of HCl to completely neutralize it while B need 15 cm cube of HCl to neutralize it then we will say that B will have a higher concentration of ammonia okay through calculations you can know exactly the molarity of the ammonia in uh, bottle B as well okay so this is what we are doing in standardization finding the molarity of an unknown solution so uh, basically, okay, we can have a look at sim simplified versions of questions and how does it look like. Like what we have done before, uh, for calculating uh, the molarity or the other things, you also have to follow uh, these steps. We have finding a balance equation. This one is very, very important because we need to rely on the equation to have the mole ratio for that. Second one, we will try to write data because data can tell me which chemicals we have number of mole, which one we are looking for is number of mole. If the one with our full data to help us to calculate the number of mole of that, we find the number of mole of that first. And then by mole ratio, we'll find the number of mole of B and finally, you can do the calculations. Have a look right here. Okay, we are having the reaction between NaOH sodium hydroxide and also sulfuric acid so the very first part we write the equation first so we have NaOH and sulfuric acid because sulfuric acid is H2 as of all is dibasic so I know that NaOH should have two right there actually right here you can stop okay because it is not really necessary to write whole equation and it won't be count as part of the mark in the calculations but okay for your own learning, I will write all these things here. So after that, okay, second part will be the data. Okay, we try to put the data correspondingly. The NOH we have 0 0.2 m right there. Okay, and then we don't know the volume because we are asking for the volume of this. Okay, we don't know the dm cube for this. And for H2SO4, it will be 0 0.102 m, and we have at 19.8 cm cube for this one. So you can see that right here, we'll have data for sulfur acid, but we don't have data for NaOH. We don't have the number of more data okay, for NaOH. So part three, what we are doing, okay, we will find the number of mole of H2SO4 first. So by MV, okay, we have 0 0.102, times 19.8 over 1000 okay we can find the number of mole of sulfur acid to be 2.02 times 10 to the negative 3 mole okay and then number four we have to find the mole ratio using the mole ratio find the number of mole of b b this time okay we are going to find out the number of mole of naoh naoh so it will be based on 0 0.02 times 10 to negative 3. Okay, coefficient of this one is 1, coefficient of this one is 2. Divide yourself, because you're coming from here, and times others. Okay, so by doing so, you will have 4.04 times 10 to negative 3 mole. Okay, finally, okay, you have number of mole of NaOH. Only you need to do is find the volume. So, volume of NaOH needed will then be equal to number of mole divided by molarity, which is 0 0.2, okay? So for this one, okay, you'll find that it will be um, 0 0.0202 dm cube, which means it is 0 0.2 cm cube, got it? So basically, okay, the calculation would be like this. 
And then next, okay, you can try this out, okay, pause the video and do it on your own, okay? But the process more or less is the same. You have hydrochloric acid, which is 0.1M, okay, required to completely neutralize, okay, Na2CO3, okay, sodium carbonate, because I can see Na we got two, so I know that HCl have to be two, okay? So this one will be 0 0.05, M and then you have 20 cm cube. Just want to cross check with you. Is this a neutralization? The answer is no. Okay, because you'll find that in the process you have CO2 right there. Okay, so this one is not a neutralization, but still can be used in the um or in the titrations or standardization process, okay? So one here, two here, three is a number of mole of Na2CO3 because you see all the data is ready here. So it will be 0 0.05 times 0 0.02, okay? So the answer for this one will be 1 times 10 to negative 3, okay? And then number 4, we find a number of mole of HCl, so it will be 1 times 10 to negative 3 divided by 1 times 2. 1 here, 2 here. 隨自己成人地, okay? So this one will be 2 times 10 to negative 3 mole. And finally, you can find the volume of HCl used, okay? So mv equals to mole. So once you got the mole, Okay, you divide it by the molarity. Molarity is 0 0.1 right there. So this time the answer will be 0 0.02 dm cube. You can convert this one into cm cube as well. Okay, so basically the calculation is like this. So standardizations, okay, when we're really doing a titration, we are not just having one trial of titrations. We have more than one, you see it like this. So normally the first trial, okay, it is just a test. And then after that, okay, basically uh, for this one, say for example, well, we know that the amp will be up here at 26.6 cm cube, okay? So when we get close to 26.6, say for example, when we get close to 25 cm cube, we will add the titrant into the analyte very, very slowly, drop by drop. So you'll find that next three trials will be closer to each other okay they won't be far away from the end point okay because this one it come you don't know okay how much volume you have to add so therefore you may be overcome okay you may be add too much uh titrant at a one at a time so therefore eventually you'll get uh beyond the end point a little bit more so by um knowing this okay you'll find that when we take average this one it really deviate a lot away from the others because you see that all this will be deviate within 0 0.1 to 0 0.2 maximum but this one is deviate from one point something okay so in general when we take average okay when we call for calculating an average we can ignore the data with large difference from the others is it necessary to be trial one no not really especially when you do the sba you'll find that sometimes maybe you accidentally add a lot okay in trial three then you just tell me that okay um what is the reason behind okay or you just ignore this one the reason behind what is that that would be all right okay so in this case we ignore this one Okay, when you take average for the rest. So for the calculations right here, okay, what we are doing, okay, we write the equation first. So the equation will be sodium carbonate. Okay, and then we okay, will titrate with sulfuric acid. So sulfuric acid here. SO4, okay, we got 2Na. So basically it will be 1 to 1. Okay, so our sodium carbonate will be 0 0.0527 M, and you have 25 cm cube right there. Okay, and then sulfuric acid that we have used, okay, I don't know the molarity because you're going to find the molarity of sulfuric acid. So this one will be a question mark. The volume, it is the volume stated here. So the very first thing okay write equation write down the data right here you need a uh, extra steps okay to find out the volume of extra so for added so for this one you have to write down average volume of h2so4 used remember you have to show the steps so basically you do like this uh, this is not a lab report, so therefore you don't need to, to tell me why you ignore 26.6, okay? Just tell me which reading you're using 
and then you have used three readings, then you divide it by three. And then the value, okay, should be 25.8 cm cube in this case, okay? So uh, basically you know that this is 25.8, okay, cm cube used. So now what we are doing, okay, we are finding the number of mole of Na2CO3, and then finding the number of mole of H2SO4, and then we come up to the molarity, okay? So uh, next, okay, that would be step three. Okay, so step three, number of mole of Na2CO3 will be equal to 0 0.0527 molarity times 0 0.025, which is the volume. So for this one, okay, you'll have um, 1.32 times 10 to the negative 3 mole. Okay, and then next, okay, you can find the number of mole H2SO4 because the ratio is 1 to 1, so you have to divide it by 1 times 1. So the answer for this one is again 1.32 times 10 to the negative 3, 3 mole. Okay, finally, you can find the molarity of the H2SO4, okay, by dividing the mole. Remember, mole equals to mv, okay? You find molarity, so you just put v there, okay? Over the volume, which is 0 0.0258, okay? So the answer for this one will be 0 0.0512m. Remember, okay, give three sig fig, okay? Give three sig fig if it is uh, smaller than one, okay? So see three sig fig for this one, 0 0.0512m, okay? So that's all for the questions like this. So to summarize this video, okay, standardization means finding the molarity of an unknown solution. Okay, general steps that you have, okay, write an equation, write down the data that related to it. Okay, when you have this one, you know the number of mole. Okay, you use mole ratios to find out uh, the number of mole of the other part. Okay, that is very helpful right there. Okay, so find number of mole of A and then B and then you find the answers. Okay, calculating the average. Remember, okay, sometimes you may need to ignore, sometimes it is not necessary all the time. You may need to ignore one of the data, okay, which have a large difference from the others. Okay, so that's all for this video. Bye bye.